Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video sponsored by FX Factory, we're going to take a look at how we toggle on and off all caps in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, we're going to have a look at how we do that with a very basic title, the built-in titles in Final Cut Pro 10, but then we're going to have a look at how we do that with more complicated animated text plugins like the Premium VFX Simple Infographics plugin that you can see on screen at the moment. So let's dive in and have a look at how we toggle on and off all caps, and then also how we kind of work with these more complicated titles. So we're going to begin just with this basic background image here, and we're going to drop on just the basic title to begin with. So we'll come up to our type and generators at the top left here and down to the bumper and opener titles. And this is where you'll find the basic title in Final Cut Pro. We'll just drag that down to the timeline. And essentially, when you drag a title down to the timeline, there's a couple things to look at in your inspector. So we have our paragraph options up here, um, but you may be in the video tab at some points in time. So you'll find yourself jumping back and forth between these two tabs up in the top right there. So in the paragraph tabs, we're gonna scroll down a little bit here, and you may not see all these options that I see under basic straight away. Sometimes they're hidden, so sometimes you might just see this very short list of 3D text, basic, face, outline, glow, etc. And what you're looking for is this little show button just to the right. And it's in here that we'll find the toggle, the toggle on and off all caps. But before we do that, we're just gonna change the color of this type so it's not white on white. So we'll come down to face and again, click show there. So this is how you change the color and we're gonna just grab a dark color, doesn't matter too much what it is. And then we'll just type in here, all caps demo. So when we are editing text, we need to highlight it all in Final Cut Pro. And then we're gonna come down to our basic options and we can check the all caps option. Now you'll notice when you check that, that the first letter of all of my words here are a slightly larger capital than the other letters. And that's basically this all cap size that we can see down here. So you can see as we drag that to the right, it's gonna make our all cap size kind of even. And then if we drag that to the left, you can see we can modify the size of the first letter of each of those words in relation to the rest of the words. And that's basically how to toggle on and off all caps in Final Cut Pro. So if you're looking for that, then hopefully this is helpful. Now things get a little bit more complicated when we start to drag on some other plugins in Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna scroll down to the premium VFX simple infographics here, and we're gonna drag on a couple of these. So we'll just drag on one to begin with. So what you'll see when we move the playhead across here is that we have multiple text boxes um, in here. And in a lot of these plugins, you'll have a few different places you can go to control the options here. So you can see up in the inspector here, we see the basic type options, we see um, the color options down here, and at the moment we don't have an individual text box selected. Um, so this will change um, when we select each of these individual text boxes. Okay. Now in a lot of plugins, they're built in such a way where you can control parts of these text boxes um, in the published parameters. So this little T is the published parameters for your plugin. So in lots of the plugins that you use, you'll actually be changing a lot of the settings in here, but it doesn't always contain all the settings. So you can see here, we've got options for different parts of the color of the text. So the, the kind of main title that you can see here, we can change the color of that. We've got options down here for different parts of the graphic design. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, we've got these three text boxes that pop up and we've got some limited control over the, the kind of text options uh, that we've got there. So you can see if we scroll down, um, we've basically got a little bit of control over the, the size of the text. It's gonna change them all at the same time. Now what we don't have in here is control over the all caps. So if we wanted to make, for instance, these different parts of the titles all caps, we need to come into the text inspector, which is not the T, which is a little bit weird. So in here, you can see it's just highlighting the text that I've got selected in that one box. Um, so I could turn on all caps for that single box. And obviously I can do the same modifications that I did before of matching the all cap size or changing it down. But then you can see we haven't changed the all caps for these other boxes here. Now we can change them all in one go, but I need to kind of deselect and click away from my infographic title and then back to it so that none of those boxes are clicked on. And now I can come down to all caps. You can see there's a little minus there, which indicates that it's not the same settings for all of those options. So if I check this now, you can see all of those options jump to all caps. I can um, drag this to the left and right and we get a little bit of a mess. Uh, but if we type in one zero zero here, 
then it should match up everything. Uh, and you can see we've got a little bit of a alignment issue in some of these uh, kind of type boxes which we might need to fix by just dragging them. Now the animation in this plugin will still work so if we kind of nudge our text the left or right to kind of refine its position then the animation that's happening at the beginning of this will still all work so we're not affecting the animation there we're just kind of nudging our text and you may find you need to do that uh, depending on what you need in your plugin. So you can see here that things get a little bit complicated when we're modifying specific type elements um, such as all caps uh, with a plugin type setup. So let's have a look at one more example here. So we'll just grab this list example. So you can see this animation kind of animates on a list. And in the premium VFX simplifier graphics, we've got some nice on screen controllers for changing the size of our boxes, for moving things around. And so we could have it aligned to the left. Maybe if we wanted to have some graphic information to the right. But we need to come into the title inspector to show and modify kind of some of these settings for the text. But we need to come into the text inspector or this little paragraph uh, to change things like the all caps. So here you can see we can now set that type to all caps. We can also control things like the line spacing um, here as well and any other text elements. And you'll see because we're not highlighting one of these boxes, we're changing everything all at the same time. And again, if we select one of these boxes, then we just need to click away from everything on our timeline and then jump back and that box will be deselected. So if you're kind of modifying individual parts of this text, for instance, then do that and then click away and then click back and then you'll have that kind of box deselected. So a little bit more complex than the, the basic title that we began with, um, but you can see even when we hover over this, when we move this around, and um, we do get that same box that you have in the plugins as well. So there's a little bit of an in-depth discussion of how plugins are set up and also how we can change the all caps in those type plugins. And if you have any questions about working with all caps or working with type, then this particular tutorial came from a question that somebody kind of asked me in one of the YouTube comments. So do leave your questions below and I'll, I'll get through all of them as quickly as I can. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.